Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by today. For today's video, I have for you the Strange and Unusual palette by Bella Beauty Bar. So if that sounds interesting to you, then why don't we go ahead and get started? Alright, so this is, like I said, the Strange and Unusual palette from Bella Beauty Bar. Perfect for this time of season, and it does have a big mirror, but I'm going to fold that back, and this is the palette right here. Beautiful, beautiful, fun colors in here. Cannot wait to try this beauty out, so let's go ahead and get started. my Beetlejuice earrings for the special occasion. They keep flipping over, but there you go. There's Beetlejuice right there, so super cute. All right, let's go ahead and prime my eyes. We're gonna use the Gerard Clean Canvas Eye Base in the shade Fair. All righty, let's start. Uh, I guess let's start with the purples today. I'd like to do two looks with this. We'll see if I'm able to do that. We're gonna start with Beetlejuice right there that in my crease all right so here we go here's the purple down I think I'm going to deepen it up by using the shade tombstone right here in the outer corner All right, so here we go. That's that outer corner shade. So now we're gonna dip into, oh gosh, there's two really pretty purples in here. I think I'm gonna dip into Delilah, or no, Delia, sorry. This one right here, Delia. I'm gonna dip into that. All right, so here we go with the um, shimmer. It is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. Um, so let's do something. Well, let's just stick with the purple. Let's just use all the purples. Let's use Bio Exorcist right here. All right, so there we go. I put um, Bio Exorcist on the lower lash line. That's really pretty. It's like a really nice blue purple color. So here's our eyes right now. So I think that came out really, really good. So let me pop off camera and um, put some liner on my uh, waterline and do my lashes and I'll be right back with Okay, you. I am back. Um, while I was off camera, I put on the um, ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Piggy Bank, this purple color right here on the waterline. And then I just used the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Um, I didn't use uh, falsies today because I do want to try to do a second eye look if possible. So I figured why well, mess around with lashes and stuff. I'll just, you know, take this eye look off and do another one for you guys. Um, I did notice, though, that I forgot to do an inner corner highlight, which is like, who am I? <laughs> so we're going to do sandworm in the inner corner. All right, so all done with this look. I will see you back here shortly so we can do another look. All right, I am back and we're gonna go ahead and start with look number two. Oh gosh, all this palette is so pretty. I'm not sure what I wanna do. It's so pretty. 
Um, those greens are calling to me. And I'm not typically a blue person, but these blues are so pretty. And actually, I'm not a red or orange person, but these are pretty too. So, uh, I wish I had more time, guys. I wish I could do a bunch more looks, but I'm, I only have time for one more. So, oh my gosh, that blue is calling me, which I cannot believe I'm saying that. But, I wonder... Oh yes, I think I can use this one. I haven't swatched this yet. Y'all will have already seen the swatches at this point, but I haven't swatched this yet, and I just swatched this one shade called Afterlife right here, and it's like a blue, green, purple shift. I don't know. It's gorgeous. So yes, that will go with the green, so that just solved my problem right there. So we're going to be playing with these four right here, these greens, and then I might use this black right here to darken it up, which is a really cool black with sparkles in it um but i think it's got like green and blue sparkles in there i don't know if you can see the sparkles kind of yeah they're kind of coming across and then there's that other shade but i don't think you can see the shift but anyways there we go so that's what we're going to play with i have already primed my eyes with the um clean canvas eye base from gerard cosmetics in the shade fair love this stuff it's great it it's a great primer in general, and it um, covers up any discoloration, veins, all that stuff you might have on your lid. So I highly recommend it. I do not have a code, but I know there are codes out there, so definitely search for a code so you can save money if you ever want to um, shop with them. Sorry, I got a little itch right there. Okay, let's dip into this. Um, let's start with Beetlejuice right here. So next up, we're going to go into um, this black shade right here, Adam, the one with the sparkles, and we're going to deepen up the outer corner. Okay, now I'm just going to go back into two Beetlejuice right there and just blend on top of this uh, black. We're all blended there we go all right so now we're gonna go into this shade right here lost souls this really pretty oh wow it's like when I'm looking at the mirror in front of me it's brown and it's showing up brown to you guys but it's a green I'm trying to see if you guys can see the shift it's like a green brown yeah you can kind of see it so anyways, I'm going to use that um, on the outer portion of my lid, and then I'm going to use Afterlife on the inner portion of my lid. But first, we're going to go in with Lost Souls. And I will be spraying this. It's a little flaky. Not too bad. Oh, it's like a red. Maybe? Yeah, I think it's like a red, brown, green. I don't know. It's so pretty. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to go in with um, Afterlife right here. Okay, now I'm just going to blend um, the mattes around the shimmers just to have a nice little blend. I don't want it to look like it's a cut crease. Alright, so let's do our under eyes. should have already done that. I'm just, I don't know why I didn't. But 
That's okay. All right, we're gonna just dip into Beetlejuice right here and um, put that on the lower lash line. Just gonna keep it simple. I will say these shimmers, um, the ones that I've used so far, are a little flaky. And the look, the first look that I did, I did have some like glitter fallout throughout the day. So I think going forward, using this palette, I'll probably use a glitter glue. I completely forgot um, for these shimmers, but I think going forward, I will use a glitter glue. Um, to help keep, to hopefully help keep me from getting so much glitter fallout, but I don't know, it was still such a pretty look that I didn't care. I just went on about my day. A little glitter never hurt anyone, right? <laughs> okay, and then in the inner corner, we're going to use uh, Recently Deceased. I figured that would be a really fun pop. sure that I like that. <laughs> it's kind of dusting away into not much. I feel like I've got to put it here now to make it match. But you can't really see it. I don't know. Maybe that's a shade I need to try in my crease. Okay. So that's fine. We'll just go with Sandworm. Um, so we'll just go in with Sandworm right here. Again, in the inner corner, it's such a pretty shade. It's like a transparent, but it's got like blue and purple and stuff in there. So I think it'll go really good. I think it's got some green in here too. Oh yeah, it definitely has green. And the green really, ooh, let's wrap that. The green really stands out. Wow, that shade is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I used it, like I said, in my first look too, but I don't care. It's so pretty. And it just, it has so many shifts in it. I don't even know what all is in here. So anyways, all right. So let me um, pop off camera real quick, put something in my waterline and throw some mascara on and I'll be right back to chat with you guys about this palette. All right, I am back with a completed look. So off camera, I just added, where did it go? Um, the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Fast Lane, and this is their old packaging. It's just a deep green. I added that to the, the waterline. And for the whole video, I realized that I had no lipstick on, so I went ahead and put on some lipstick and lip liner. So my lip liner is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Hoopty, right here. And then the lipstick is the Milani, I forget what they're called, but it's their matte lipstick that everybody went so crazy about when they came out. Um, I forget what they're called, but uh, you'll probably recognize the two because these went viral like on TikTok and whatever. That's the shade right there. This is shade number, where are you? 440 passion it's a perfect fall color i think so it went well with this look and also a purple purple look i think so anywho okay that's oh and i put on um the essence essence lash princess mascara i love this mascara although this one's been flaking on me i don't remember if it's flaked on me in the past it's been a really long time since i've used it so hmm let me know down in the comments if you've used this before and if it flakes on you inquiring minds want to know because <laughs> it is a really good mascara otherwise besides the flakes so anywho all right guys this palette oh this palette it's so good obviously i haven't used all the shades um i do plan on it um so i will try to get back to you guys with the full review um i'm trying to basically set up a thing where like every I don't know, at least every month I come back and kind of do a follow-up review, kind of a speed review on everything. That's kind of my goal. So that's my plan with this palette. Um, although the shades I played with were awesome so far, 
Uh, let's see, there are, what, 15 shades in here, and I have played with one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not bad, ten out of fifteen, so that's not bad. Um, so I haven't played with this row at all yet. I haven't played with the oranges or the red. Um, I did a look with this. Um, I kind of played with that a little bit in the inner corner, but it wasn't sticking. Um, I, maybe if I had really min played with it a little bit more, I might have been able to get it to stick, but I don't know. I need to play with that, so that's something I'll have to report back on, maybe play with it in the crease and see how it works out. Um, but these two are what's on my lid right now, so gorgeous. I played with that. Um, I swatched that. I haven't played with it. This one is a gorgeous inner corner, um, and then of course it's a white. I haven't used that. I don't see myself using a white a whole lot, but I guess it'd be good to kind of blend out darker shades if needed, so it's good to have in the palette. Um, I just don't use matte whites all that often. Blacks, yes, but matte whites, no. This black right here, although it has beautiful sparkles, they did not stay on my eye, unfortunately, so such is the case with most of these you know shimmery types of mattes unfortunately but that's okay it's it's a good matte black you know it deepened up the outer corner that's what i needed it for so i'm i'm not going to complain about that it would be a nice little bonus to keep the glitter in there or the little sparkles but it's not the end of the world um it still serves its purpose i don't know what else to say guys this is a really cool color story i think it's a nice unique color story you pulled in they pulled in some of the like typical you know halloween colors but they put a nice spin on it and man these shimmers are all shifty and so shimmery and sparkly they're so pretty oh my gosh i don't even i mean that's coming across really good on the camera like you can see the shifts and i still don't even think the camera's doing it justice, guys. That's how shimmery these these beautiful shimmers are. <laughs> they're just, they're stunning. Bella Beauty Bar does their shimmers. Oh, they're so good. Um, they are a little crumbly, though, I will tell you that. Sometimes a little hard to pick up with a brush. Um, but I managed. I managed to pick up all of them with a brush. Um, I always use my shimmers wet with almost every palette. Um, it just helps you know the shadow adhere to the lid and helps keep you from getting fallout and it also amps up the um sparkly the shimmeriness of the um of the shadow so i always use my shimmers wet um however with this palette going forward i will probably use um a glitter glue and thinking back i want to say one of their all shimmer palettes i used glitter glue with that palette too so it's not a big surprise i just completely forgot to use it in this look today and i already have some glitter fallout so it is what it is it's like i said it's not the end of the world little glitter on my face isn't going to hurt anybody it really didn't bother me it was just like oh look i've got some glitter right there on my cheeks okay whatever but um i do prefer not to have glitter all over my cheeks so in the future i'll use a glitter glue but that's not a big deal Otherwise, guys, um, you will have already seen the swatches. Like I said, I still haven't even swatched this palette yet, so I can't wait to see all the swatches because then hopefully I can pick up some of the shifts and stuff so you guys can see them. But with all that being said, like I said, I will continue to play with this because I haven't used any of those. I want to play with this more. Um, I will attempt to use the matte white, but that one's kind of a toss away shade for me, but whatever. I definitely want to use this. This is a gorgeous blue, even though I'm not a blue fan it's gorgeous and i'm not into oranges and reds either but i don't know those shades they're really shifty too like this shade right here witch doctor is really cool looking too so i definitely want to play with it um yeah it shifts from like red to pink to orange i swear it might even have some green in it i don't know it's really cool so yeah guys i think this is currently out of stock however i did see on their um instagram page that they are planning to open up another pre-order which pre-order means obviously they're an indie brand so they have to order in batches you know they they're not a big corporation where they can order millions of units you know so they have to order in batches and so they have the pre-sale they order they get their stuff they ship it to you they do another pre-sale so so on and so forth so if you were to buy it on pre-sale when it comes out 
it probably won't ship for at least another month or two. I don't know how far out they are on shipping, but that's just kind of typically the way it works with pre-sales um, with most indie brands from my experience. So typically from my experience, usually it's about a month out after the pre-sale sells out. So again, I don't know exactly how long it'll be, but I did see that they're planning to reopen the pre-order. So you will have the opportunity to get this palette. So I did definitely want to show this palette um, before they put it on pre-order. Oh, I do have a, a affiliate code. Um, it gets you 10% off of your purchase if you just, um, I'll put it down here, but it's Jennifer E. Makeup, all one word together. Um, and that'll give you, like I said, 10% off, but it is an affiliate code. And if you do use my code, thank you very much. I appreciate you supporting me. I think that's, I've only got like two codes, so <laughs> it's kind of a big deal for me. So, um, anywho, with all that being said, guys, this is such a cool palette. Um, I never want to try to push anybody to buy anything or anything like that, but if you like the color story, it's something you're interested in. Um, I don't think you'd be disappointed, at least by the 10 shades I've used out of the 15 shades, I can say that I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's really, a, it's really a lovely palette. The, the mattes, I had zero problems with any of them. And I mean, you see how deep I could take that green with the, um, with that black and they blended beautifully together. Um, when I used the purples and purples, you know, they're supposedly the hardest ones to, uh, formulate and this deep purple right here Beetlejuice is I think that's how you say Beetlejuice here too I think there's two Beetlejuices one is spelled B-E-T-E-L-G-E-U-S-E -E -E, and the other one is B-E-T-T-L-E-J-U-I-C-E -E. so anyways <laughs> I think Beetlejuice is in here twice if I'm not mistaken I think I'm saying that right anywho um, this Beetlejuice down here uh, the purple blended beautifully like it was, it's like, it's almost a little buttery, which is surprising for a purple. So I am, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, and you know, purple is my favorite color. So anytime I can get a good purple, you know, in there, I mean, look at that pigmentation. And then this beautiful shimmer right here. Ooh, this blue to purple shift. Oh, so pretty. And it looks more purple to me in person than what you're seeing. You're seeing more blue than purple. So I'm telling you, these are so shifty. You can kind of see some of the purple a little bit, but it looks more blue right now. Anywho, that's what I love about these shifty shadows. It's like you can see so many different shifts at so many different angles. So anyways, let me scoot up so you guys can see this. I don't think I showed y'all. So there we go. That is the finished look. So yeah, guys, if this is a color story, like I said before, I don't ever want to push anybody into buying anything. Um, I know a lot of us have huge collections and can probably dupe a lot of stuff. Um, but like I said, if this is a color story you're interested in, you maybe have been eyeing this palette, weren't sure. I do think that this is a very nice palette. Um, and I've had experience with other palettes from Bella Beauty Bar. So, um, you know, I know their formula pretty well. So I feel confident recommending their brand. And based on the 10 shades I've used, I feel confident recommending this too. But like I said, um, I, will, I will do like a follow-up with you guys. I will definitely try to get that for you guys. I don't know what else to say. I've blabbered a lot about this palette. So if my um, thoughts... <laughs> seem all over the place it's probably because it's 2 30 in the morning and i apologize <laughs> so i'm just gonna end this here and say thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you did like this video i really hope that you'll consider hitting the like button that really helps me out um in the youtube algorithm i'm just a small little channel out here trying to get noticed with that being said i do have a giveaway going on right now um, once I reach 500 subscribers, I will draw that giveaway. I will make sure to link that up in the cards up here, and it's always linked down in the description box below. Um, 
So with that, also please consider subscribing. You do have to be subscribed to win that giveaway. So make sure to subscribe and enter that giveaway and ring that notification bell so you're notified of all of my future posts. And again, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or evening wherever you are in this world. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.